Hello. I've said a few times that I think stupidity is probably more dangerous than malice. Incompetence, uh, I think, in this situation could be a synonym for stupidity. And the incompetence of Liz Truss, and Priti Patel in particular, is doing people a great deal of harm. Not only that, but the sloganising. The sloganising. And uh, we just have to be very clear. The refugee status, or applying for refugee uh, status, is about need. It's not about how many places we in the UK have got available. It's about the need of the refugee. And the only criterion is whether or not their need is genuine. Now, there are people in the Conservative Party today who are calling on, Liz, uh, on, on both Liz Truss and Priti Patel and saying, how can we question the need of 1.7 million people who are fleeing for their lives from Ukraine? How can we question the need when we're putting up um, special monitors in the House of Commons to listen to President Zelensky today? How can we question the need of the people who are turning to us for support? How can we posture and claim that we are leading the way in support when we are turning away people from Calais, people with British passports who have collected the rest of their family uh, from an arduous journey across Ukraine, across Europe. We are turning them away because we don't have uh, the officers ready to process the paperwork in Calais. And our Home Secretary, this lady who has been accused um, uh, of uh, bullying, changes her mind because she doesn't do her work rather like Liz Truss. So unlike Nadine Doris, who simply doesn't answer her letters, these are two ministers who do seem to be on top of their letters, they just don't seem to be on top of their subject. It is astonishing that these people are in power and are running our country. Astonishing and shameful. If Boris needs to surround himself with people who are incompetent so that he looks better, he is a madman. Utterly insane. And he needs to go. But I don't think that is the case. I think Boris demonstrates very well on the world stage that he is a world statesman. So he just needs to be told that he is, in fact, doing the job well enough and he needs to give um, a very clear signal that these ladies should resign with immediate effect. If they can't, he needs to push them, all of them. They have done so much damage at a time when they could have done some good. And constant vacillation is not a substitute for leadership. So the fact that Liz Truss says that uh, something should be in place in Calais, and then she says something is going to be in place in Calais, it doesn't matter. This is not about, um, sorry, Pretty Patel. This is not about Pretty Patel. This is about refugees with a need, with a need. And we've got it wrong so often in the past, so often. Um, and it's no point, really, in looking at the past and saying, wringing our hands and saying, well, why should we be helping Ukrainians now when we didn't help Palestinians earlier? Why should we be helping Ukrainians now when we didn't help uh, Afghanistans, Afghanistanis, uh, why, uh, and similarly with Syrians and so on? Why is the Ukrainian world worth more, for example, than the Muslim world? The answer is it isn't. The answer it is, is it isn't. The answer is that we've had it wrong for a long time, but that doesn't mean we should continue to get it wrong. Refugee status is about need, not about want or convenience. It's nothing to do with Brexit or our posturing. It's all to do with the need of the person who is requesting assistance. And this is a principle that is enshrined in the world literature of our religions. It's enshrined 
in international agreements that we have signed. It's got nothing to do with Brexit. It's all to do with our responsibility as a nation in a world community. And if we duck this responsibility, when we are in need, we cannot turn to others. I think, I think there are, uh, there are people even in the Conservative Party who are screaming at Priti Patel and Liz Truss. They're screaming at them to do something and to act correctly. Not generously, correctly. And I think they should be changing their screams. I think the screams should be much clearer and better articulated. Liz Truss, Priti Patel, and while you're at it, Nadine Doris, it is time to go. Follow Gavin Williamson. We have had too many ministers uh, in the last two years, actually probably in the last five years, we've had too many ministers um, who are incompetent. And in that I would include at least one prime minister. Incompetence is not acceptable. It puts us all at risk.